In this video, we're going to configure our HESC support ticket system with an OAuth connection to Office 365 so that it can email in and out. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we've got a global admin um, available to use on Office 365. And we also need to use a mailbox on Office 365. So we'll need one of those as well. I would recommend that they are not the same user. So you don't want to be giving a user global admin rights. So I would suggest set up an admin account and set up a user account. We've already done that. So on this screen, we've got a HESC admin account here and we've got a help desk email account just there. It's going to need to have a license for an email enabled service. In our case, we're using Business Basic, but actually you could get away with Exchange Online Plan 1, which is cheaper um, because you don't need access to Teams or anything like that for this login. The next thing we need to do is we need to enable this user account to be able to use SMTP auth. So we need to go into the user account. We need to go across and select the mail aspect here. And we need to click on this manage email apps. In here, you can see that we've got authenticated SMTP is unticked. So we need to tick that to ensure that HESC is going to be able to use SMTP auth. Click save changes and you can see it's updated. Okay, so the next thing we need to do here is within HESC, we need to go to Tools and OAuth Providers. We go into the Azure console. go to app registrations we clicked on new registrations we select web from this list down here and in here we put the web address of the PHP page which is here click the register button at the bottom we copy the application client ID and click this button to do that paste that into here we click on endpoints we copy the authorization endpoint Paste that in there. We copy the token endpoint. Paste that in there. Close that window. We come across to certificates and secrets. Add a new client secret. We give it a name. We change this to 24 months, we click add. We copy the secret value, this one on the left, and we paste that one into here. We then go to API permissions, add a permission, Microsoft Graph, We click Delegated Permissions. We need Offline Access. IMAP dots Access user in here. 
this is Let's move that one we want pop we need that one we need SMTP that one add those permissions in this scope box we need to type the following We now click save. The user account that we created. We accept the permissions on here. We can now see that this has been saved successfully. We now go down to settings and to email. In here, we need to set the POP3 fetching to be turned on. And we need to put the POP3 mail address in the host window. We need to change the port number and the TLS. We need to switch it to OAuth. And then we lose the password. Password's disappeared. So we just need to put the email address in. We can test our connection. Ah, no, it's failed. Uh, we've got the wrong port number. So let's get the right port number. Let's test it again. Great stuff. So we need to do a similar thing for SMTP server. So we need to put the Office 365 mail server in for SMTP. We need to set the port which is already correct. The TLS is already correct. OAuth again and then just put the username in. We'll test that connection and that's working too. We we'll click save changes at the bottom. We're we'll going to scheduled tasks. And then we need to add a task to run the PHP script to make the POP3 connector work. So we need to put the address of the POP3 connector page into this field here. And this window we're going to set to cron style and we're going to set to this to five stars. This basically means every minute of every hour of every day of every week of every month in fact. And we're going to give it a friendly description. We click OK. Ah, now we've forgotten to put the secret key on the end of the URL. So we need to go and find that. Uh, so that's in uh, settings and help desk. We'll scroll down. And this URL access key, that needs to be added to the end of the uh, web address. So we'll go back into the scheduled task. And we'll go and put that key at the end. So question mark key equals and then that code and now when we see the tickets list we'll quickly find that our new ticket comes in there we go that's our first ticket into HESC now the next thing we need to do is to test the outbound mail so we'll click the ticket and we'll type a quick reply in there We'll click Submit Reply at the bottom and uh, right, OK, so it's still not working. Um, what have we got to do? Let's go back to settings. Go back to email. Let's just check a couple of things. Ah, right. So we've not changed the from address at the top yet. So let's change that. And we'll change the display name while we're at it.
and we'll click save at the bottom. Let's go back to our tickets list. We'll click the ticket again. Another reply in there. Submit reply. Reply submitted, success. There we go, no error message. It's all working. If you found this video useful, obviously this is part of a series, so you may find some of the other videos useful too. So now would be a good time to subscribe if you've not already subscribed. And if it's, again, useful content, please give us a like. That's all folks, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.